What is the fastest way to cure sciatica? So if you've stumbled across this video, it's more than likely that you are struggling with sciatic pain or know somebody that is struggling with sciatic pain. It is one of the worst back conditions out there. It is so painful, debilitating, it stops you in your tracks and really impacts your day-to-day -day living. We see clients every single day with sciatica that is caused from disc problems, from joint issues, and we are here to help. My name is Dr. Jeremy Andrews. I'm a doctor of chiropractic here at West Chiropractic in Surrey and we are set up for dealing with sciatic clients. So how do you cure your sciatica in the quickest, safest possible way? So it's really important to ensure that you are moving. Back in the, the, the 80s, the theory was if you have back pain, if you have sciatic pain, then you need to stay rigid, stay fixed. We now know that not to be true. You want to keep your body as active as possible, as mobile as possible and keep things moving. So really important that you're using the furniture walking, you're trying to get your body as fluid as possible and you're keeping it hydrated as possible as well but let me show you a couple of things that we use with our clients that have sciatica to get things moving properly and get you out of pain as quick as possible okay so first one here this movement is called the double knee to chest and it's going to help to flex the base of the spine extend the spine as well take some pressure off that disc and also that sciatic nerve you can also do this from the comfort of your bed so if you wake up in the morning and if you're anything like me when i've had sciatica the last thing i want to do is get out of bed but you want to try and get things mobile get things moving and then you can start getting around and try and get on with your day the best that you can starting off on your back like this and what you want to do is bring both knees up to the chest gently 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 now what you want to do is when the knees are at the chest like this just make sure you're comfortable you can lift your head up a little bit as well just take some pressure off and this is going to help to stretch out the base of the spine now what you want to do is you want to try and just rock from side to side like this and this is going to help just to massage the base of the spine and also you can rock a little bit forwards and backwards just again here it's going to take some pressure right off the base of the spine now how long should you do this for well well, if it's still comfortable after 30 seconds, I would keep going for a minute. Uh, just bearing from front to back like this and then going from side to side as well. Just taking pressure off that base of the spine and easing everything through. When you get up, really important, put the legs back down, plant the feet, heads comes back down like that. Just let the spine rest for a second and then onto the side like this, pushing up with the other hand and let the legs flop over to the side of the bed. Really important that you're doing that and ensuring that you're not putting too much pressure when you're just sitting up like that. Second one I'll use as well is the lower back rotation. So again, starting on your back, this is a great exercise to take pressure off the sides, the QL muscles, and help to just relieve some pressure through the sciatic nerve. So on this one, just make sure your head is flat and supported on a pillow or on the floor, and then knees come together. You're gonna roll from side to side like this and try and get it down to 90 degrees. Now, if it's causing pain at 45 degrees here, just stop and just work on this arc like this. So from here, down to here, like so, and that'll take pressure off those areas. You don't wanna be doing this too hard, and that's gonna really help just to take some pressure off like this. Now, as you go through the process, so maybe in week one, you can only go sort of so far, 30 degrees on each side. As you get into week two, you might be able to go further, sort of 45 degrees, week three, a bit further, week four, you know, all the way down to sort of 90 degrees like this. That's gonna really help just to, to stretch some of the muscles that have built up some inflammation, get some fluid out of those areas, just get everything moving much better as well. Okay, so if you saw my video on the uh, red flags for sciatica, then you'll see this is gonna be a modified version of the slumps test that we use. This is a great way just to stretch that sciatic nerve. So essentially you wanna be sitting like this, keep your core nice and upright, shoulders pinned back, chin tucked back like this. And with the bad leg, you wanna make sure that you're just trying to stretch the leg out like this. So you can see I'm just lifting the leg off the ground. And then what you can do is you can pull the toe towards you. Now, this is causing too much pain. Don't do that, just leave the toe down. And you'll feel the stretch down the back of the leg in the hamstring. You can hold this for 30 seconds and that's gonna help just stretch the hamstring out, taking pressure off the nerve. Just relax the foot back down. You might wanna just shake it around a little bit to get some tension out of the muscles and then repeat so lifting the leg up again holding it there there's no symptoms no pins and needles no electric shock type pain just pull the toe towards the head and that will help to stretch out the hamstring keep the knee locked if you can leg nice and straight and then relax back down you can repeat that three times, try and do 30 seconds on each of the repetitions. Okay, number four I love as well, again, a stretch. You need to make sure we're stretching out the glutes and the piriformis. So we can do this by starting on your back. And you may have seen this in the previous video, you're gonna cross the leg over like this. Hands are gonna go through 
onto the knee that is, is bent here and you're gonna try and hug this knee into your chest. That's gonna then pull this leg in further as well and you're gonna feel the stretch down through here exactly where that sciatic nerve is running. So pulling like this and you can hold this for 30 seconds and if you want to, you can always cross it over. So even though I haven't got pain in my left leg, I would still try and just get as much pressure off that area as you can. Okay, so those will be my tips to help with sciatica as quick as possible to get you some relief before seeing a professional. So these would be really useful if you suddenly found that you bent down to pick something up off the floor, picked up one of your kids or a piece of luggage and you found that your back's gone out, it's causing the sciatic pain down the leg. You start with these four simple tips and tricks before you can get a professional help, just trying to alleviate some of the pressure, making sure you're drinking as much fluid as you need to and just staying as active as possible where you can. So if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for the regular updates and you can grab copies of my best-selling books here, The Secret Cure to Back Pain, How to Avoid a Lifetime of Painkillers and Surgery and How to Transform Your Back on the Amazon link in the show notes below. We'll see you next time. Thank you.